In part five of our course, we'll have a look at emergencies. Our next section is on emergencies and direction finding. Hopefully, you'll be unlikely to experience an emergency requiring one of these calls, but you need to know it for the test. Within emergencies, we'll be covering types of emergency call, how to terminate an emergency call, training fixes, and VHF direction finding. There are two types of emergency call. A distress call, which requires immediate assistance, typically because there's danger to life. This is a mayday call, and that comes from the French for help me rather than the festival in May. An urgency call is one where immediate assistance is not required, but it does concern safety. That's a pan call. If you have to make such a call, then you can either make it on the frequency that you're on, or you can call London Centre on the emergency frequency of 121.5. For an aircraft talking to an air traffic unit, then that frequency would be the obvious place to start, since there will be someone on the other end with a pen to note down details and a telephone and radio to call for help. London Centre have both these things, and also the ability to locate you by direction finding, which could be useful. If though, as a glider pilot, you're currently on one of the CAT gliding frequencies, then I would suggest that switching to 121.5 would be better if you have time. If you do hear an emergency call on the frequency that you're on, be quiet and give it priority. Here's the formal structure of an emergency call. You need to know this for the test, but in real life, you're going to do what is useful and what you have time for. First, the attention getter. Mayday, mayday, mayday. Or pan pan, pan pan, pan pan. Now you have everyone's attention and the frequency to yourself. Then who you're calling. Redundant if you're in a hurry. Your call sign and type. Glider, Golf, Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Delta will cover it. What's wrong and what your plan is. Pretty important. Position, altitude, heading. Whichever of these is relevant. Where you are is very useful if you want help. The other two depend on the type of emergency. Pilot qualifications. It's in the test and really it's about whether you're a student or whether you're instrument qualified if you're a power pilot. Not very useful for a glider pilot. Anything else that's useful. If you have a transponder, how should you use it? If you already have a discrete code and are talking to an ATSU, stay on it unless you're asked to change or for some other reason you decide it would be better to squawk 7700. If you don't have a discrete code, then Squawk 7700 to get people's attention. If you've dealt with your emergency, you can cancel it. And the format is who you're calling, your call sign, the phrase cancel mayday or cancel pan pan, and give a brief explanation and intentions. So for example, London Centre, this is Golf, Foxtrot, Lima, Kilo, Sierra. Cancel mayday, cabin fire extinguished, continuing to Cambridge. Request change to one route frequency. Time for practice. Make an emergency call with one or both of the following emergencies. Either a mid-air collision, which has left you still flying, or you're in a turbo and you have an engine fire. It is also possible to make an emergency call about someone else's emergency. For example, if you see a mid-air collision or if you hear an emergency transmission that is unanswered. When you call, make it clear that you're not the subject of the emergency. You could call on the frequency that you're on or on 121.5. So for example, if you're on one of the gliding frequencies and you hear a mayday, you should relay the details to London Centre on 121.5. Doing your best to write them down first would probably be helpful.
Here's an example of a relayed emergency message. Mayday, 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 London Centre, Golf, Foxtrot Lima, Kilo Sierra. I have intercepted a Mayday from Golf Alpha Bravo Charlie Delta, a chipmunk with a cabin fire six miles northwest of Bista at 2,000 feet heading 250 making for Enston. Response is going to be Golf, Foxtrot Lima, Kilo Sierra, Roger your Mayday from Golf Alpha Bravo Charlie Delta. You're flying and you hear the following. What do you do? Pan Pan, Pan Pan, Pan Pan. London Centre, this is Golf Bravo Charlie Alpha Tango. I'm a bulldog, I'm lost above cloud. I need help to find an area of VMC. My last known position was 10 miles east of Coventry. I'm heading 110 at 3,800 feet. I'm a PPL, but I don't have an instrument qualification. It's one person on board and my endurance is five zero minutes. London Centre provide a service called a training fix. They use direction finding from a number of stations to plot your position. Then they can provide help. Training fix, training fix, training fix. London Centre, Glider, Golf, Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Delta, training fix. Glider, Golf, Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Delta, I show you as two miles west of Buckingham with a three-line fix. Glider, Golf, Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Delta, roger. Glider, Charlie, Delta, do you require any further service? Glider, Charlie, Delta, negative, changing en route. Glider, Charlie, Delta, roger. Feel free to give a training fix a try. Just feel free to give a training fix a try. Just listen out on the frequency first. People have been known to use a training fix if they're lost, but probably the best advice, if you get lost, is to admit it. Don't risk entering controlled airspace. Call London Centre on 121.5 and say, I'm uncertain of my position. Ask for a steer to somewhere you know. They'll help you navigate until you're not lost anymore. Time for a knowledge check. See if you can answer the questions on this slide. If you can't, go back and revise. Some aeronautical stations are able to provide VHF direction finding services. We're going to cover first the concept, then the RT calls that we'll use, and then the three different types of bearings. They're not hugely useful to a glider pilot, but you do need to know about them for the fertile exam. Here's an example. Cambridge happens to be one station that can provide this service. Cambridge approach, Golf Bravo Alpha Charlie Delta, request QDM, Golf Bravo Alpha Charlie Delta. To which the reply would be, Golf Bravo Alpha Charlie Delta, QDM 235 degrees, class Bravo. And you have to acknowledge that with 235 degrees, class Bravo, Golf Bravo, Alpha, Charlie, Delta. A display in the control tower indicates the aircraft's direction. There are three different bearings that you can ask for. A QDM, which is a bearing that will get you to the station. A QDR, which is a magnetic bearing that will get you from the station and a QTE, which is a true bearing from the station. There are four different class accuracies. Um, Bravo is plus or minus five degrees, for example. And lastly, here's a table of the different forms of VDF phraseology and some example calls.